hi everyone so here in this video you are going to learn about how to integrate front end using react and uh, back end using node okay so here is it, it's, it's a node okay so how we can create the react based application first of all what we need to do so there are some command like uh, we need to be the professional uh, way in the previous cult like you know uh, traditional way we are using this npx uh, create react app create uh, react app my app so i am created uh, by using this command okay so on the next one is uh, for the back end we i am using npm init hyphen y npm i express body parser course and then i created server.js file to write the some code to run the server.js file so here the first of all what we need to do this is the simple step so we need express we need path we need body parser we need one more is course so path why it is very important and uh, also the course is a uh, body parser is how it is important we we are going to know so here the const app is equal to what app this is express we need to use first this backend we need to create the backend first okay not a frontend then middleware is nothing but these uh, two are very very important so whenever you are passing the data so based on the body parser it will be get the data uh, to the frontend itself okay so you will get uh, one message after your using this one so once uh, submit it will be happen like app dot post so the post request right slash submit in this slash submit you are going to uh, pass from the front end both name and email so as the response is it like dot body from the body you are getting the response the next one is so request dot json in this json file so based on this body parser you are getting the data so in this data i received a submission from the uh, name and email id so the name which we are using this name and also the email id is this email id okay this is very very simple app dot use app dot use so only this use dot use is using for the middleware and the next one is this is also like uh, how we can uh, get the get the static files from the react application we are using this uh, app dot use so this is the express right so static page path here already you are using path require so express dot static path to join so we'll we'll know about in the javascript how we are using join join and the main name like uh, direct name so this name we are need to pass here to show the index.html content okay in the root element whatever the code you, you are having like the code you can see in the uh, port number uh, 5000 okay so what we are doing we are building this uh, complete file so frontend slash map my app is a build okay so based on this uh, path we are using to get the see here so this is a build file so in this build file you can see slash frontend my app build so in this we can see the static files so in the static files uh, the path is to be joined okay so in this direct name what we can do like you know we are using this uh, star right so in this we have index.html so whenever you are running this uh, uh, like uh, react js application the complete this code will be 
mintas uh, mainly we can see the all the react application you can see here so in this build files so we are just uh, integrating with the uh, build files only so that is why whenever you are uh, using this uh, local host so if you are click on this local host let's see if you are click on the local host what will happen so i am running this file so first of all see everyone first of all uh, run this application okay after running this application you can see this is a http in this http just remove all the code okay the, okay this is the main uh, path you can see so if i am using yes and shiva at the rate of uh, gmail.com if you click on the submit so it will be received from the data from shiva the submit you can see in this uh, local host 3000 local host 5000 right just uh, give me a second this is the command right which you can see it's a get request so there is nothing you can just uh, remove this one and use like this so here you you are using submit okay submit if i click the something like i need to be pass this information post request okay here we need to uh, write name if whether it is working or not just i'm checking okay uh, you need to be check by using of these parameters and email is a post request right just run this you will get to see the received submission from the name of uh, shiva and uh, shiva at of gmail.com so this will be working this will be working okay so here you can see front end and back end right so you will get to see how we are creating the front end by using of the react so in this react what i can do in the react my app src folder in this src folder there is app.js so here in this app.js first of all what we can do this is completely how we can integrate with the front end and back end okay how we are using the front end and back end so it's a form data let's come here this is already you know form how can we create the form input type is equal to form data form data how can i getting uh, see form data and set form data so in this form data you you are using name and email id so you are passing this data okay so the name which you are sending uh, from the input like name and value so this is like uh, we are using this uh, spread operator okay so actually the spread operator we are using to get the all the allocating the data so uh, we are using uh, here three dots so if you check like this you will be able to find the uh, where we can write the program so here this is the submit right this is the submit type is equal to submit right so when you click on the submit click on the submit means it will be like submit handle and uh, like handle submit will be react so where we are passing the data passive we are say, passing the data from here so e prevent dot default uh, so the next one is a try and catch method try here is a uh, mainly we are passing the information from the headers okay so method is the post request and the next one is catch catch so catch whenever you are getting the error from the error so you will get to see the error in the front end so this is uh, how we can able to uh, write communicate with the both front end and back end so let's see everyone so just i'm is to pass the data okay first of all cd 
print in so npm start so there is nothing will be have uh, nothing will be getting right so what you can do first of all you are already used the build files right so you are not even go to the next uh, like uh, front end so directly go to the back end so back end npm start okay if you are using the npm start click on this so it is running in the four five thousands so when you are using the form data see just uh, i am opening the code this is app.js right so you are writing the form here you can see the what is the code actually we are writing in the front end you can see app.js in this app.js first is a form submission it's a h1 and the form submit it's a handle submit so label is a name and the type is equal to name and the type is equal to text and name is equal to name so uh, the value which is like uh, form data dot name so here you can see form data form data this is the name which is a handle click okay name form data dot handle so it will be directly moving to the form data dot name okay next one is from use state you are using next one is you are must using uh, on change here so whenever the handle change handle the handle you change means the function okay this function will be directly we are writing for the handle change and handle change also the we are writing for the uh, uh, email id okay the response you can see here so where i am writing the response actually just click on this so it's a response right set response you can see where the set response is getting when this uh, response you are getting then automatically data dot message you are uh, you can see here so shiva mohan at the rate of gmail.com okay click on this in this uh, p you are getting right submission this p so if you decorate something with the color style color green okay just uh, run this again you are running you must run this you you can able to see the changes okay next shiva shiva click on this uh, we must see the response in the color color is a green right so randomly you are getting the data Mm, but I can the response it's a string okay uh, the color is a green actually this is uh, the response of the if you use the div see Just write it down. This T Y L U. Right. Right. Thirty. Right. Thirty. Background color. Just uh, we must use this one. So actually, for the changes, we need to do one thing. For changes, uh, if changes are reflect reflect uh, from here, so we must use to build build file should be uh, deleted. Okay, build file should be deleted. Uh, where the front end? This is the front end file. Build file should be deleted. So if I delete the build, again we need to use the build files. So try to use build files uh, 
npm run build yes npm run build for what for the front end cd dot front end uh, npm run build right it's not getting okay npm install so if you can see here then again you can start it is working or not still the build files are not identified here sorry i am just giving you small an idea it's a front end right the next one see this is the front end and try to add my app then again use npm run build then it will work so we are building the files so i am using the green color right now you can see the green color in the notification okay this is all about the build files so it's a completed go to the next one so run this uh, command npm start yeah now it's running in a uh, 5000 okay 5000 shiva the shiva data now you can see the green color you can see okay this is the response this is how we can able to use uh, as a as per the back end uh, integration so front end where we are integrated in this front end uh, we are integrated uh, here so first of all we need to create the proper form and the next one is uh, we must create this handle change okay so we must use form data set form data and the response where we can see the response okay the next one is for the handle change and the next one is handle submit we must use the next one try and catch method we must use all the proper code alignment so i'll also integrate with the back end uh, database okay so we'll see